Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot, we remember old Lang Syne. So I'm going to tell you this story. I know you're not going to believe it, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Get one drink in this guy and he tells you his whole life story. No, nope, I'm serious. Okay, I'm listening. All right, so it's two years ago. I'm on my way up to the roof because the maintenance guys back then used to smoke up there. So who cares if they smoke? Would you just listen? All right, so they smoked up there. No big deal, I don't care. The problem was they used to throw the butts off the roof and it would hit someone coming out the front door. It would make a mess, whatever. So I get tasked with policing the whole ordeal. Somebody couldn't just get these guys an ashtray? Bunch of animals out there. You said it, baby. All right, so the telltale sign was that they used to leave the window open so they wouldn't get locked out, all right? So I would feel the draft, go up there, wag my finger at them. They ever give you shit? Tell you to go screw yourself? That's what I would have done. You smoke? No, but given the opportunity to tell him to screw himself, i do it, proudly. All right, forget it. I'm not telling the story. Come on, Aww, no, come on. you're so sensitive. Okay, so the window is open. It's Christmas Eve. I'm preparing my whole, I thought I told you not to blah, blah, blah speech. So I get up there, stick my head out the window, and? And what? Nobody's there. So they left. No, you see, that's what I thought. But then I realized the maintenance guys weren't even there. So I'm thinking maybe it's the tenants or something like that, right? So I stick my head around the corner and I see some guy standing there in a red Santa Claus outfit with a sack of toys over his shoulder. Just standing there on the corner, the south side. Okay, no more drinks for Ted. <laughs> no, I swear to God. All right, and here's the weird thing though. He was slim, tall, and slim. And then what? I looked at him, he looked at me. I pulled my head back in through the window to look down the hall to see if anyone's coming. Stick my head back out, he's gone. You're a fucking liar. No, look, I'm not saying I wasn't seeing things. I'm not saying I wasn't exhausted. All I'm saying is I'm not making it up. Let's go up there then, right now, to the roof. Well, I don't think we're gonna see him now. Maybe he comes every Christmas. Let's go! Yeah, come on. Skinny Santa, how stupid. Skinny come on, let's Santa. go. The movie doesn't make any sense. Uncle Billy's on the payroll, why? Because he's family? I don't care if he's family. Or he's a liability, he's a screw up. He's family, it's that simple. No, all right, here are the rules. Do your job or you're out, okay? George Bailey's all upset the way his life turned out when really, he's got no one to blame but himself. Look you're in the mirror, George. No, you're really criticizing George Bailey. Yeah, I'm criticizing George. I'm criticizing the whole thing, all right? Let me tell you, Potter. Now there's a guy with a plan, okay? We're talking about someone who's just trying to make a buck, and as far as I'm concerned, he's the only one in Bedford Falls who's got any vision. Any vision? He's putting up poorhouses, casinos. I mean, he might as well be Donald Trump or something like that. You gotta be kidding me. Well, I mean, he's not a nice guy by any means, but Uncle Billy's no saint. I'm telling you right now, if my uncle worked for us and he dropped a deposit bag full of money on the side of the road, he would be out. Santa, 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 Santa. What's going on here? Hey, where you guys going? Santa. Santa got all sauce and he's telling us the story about Santa being up on the roof. We all fell for it. Wanna come? No, no. You're lost. Worst thing that happens, I'm gonna try to make out with one of these chicks on the roof till she slaps the taste out of my mouth, which turns me on anyway. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> check this out. <laughs> Stupid Christmas. Hey, how you doing? Hey. What's there, like another party going on here tonight or something? No, it's Christmas. Oh yeah, right. What's, uh, what's your name? I'm Santa Claus. Yeah. <laughs> if you're Santa Claus, why are you so skinny? Well, to be honest, I just decided to start eating healthier. Oh, well, that's great. Good for you. Thanks. Well, you have a good night. Hey, wait, wait a second, wait a second. Hey, you can't grab my arm like that. Why not? Because it's naughty. Well, hey, if you're Santa Claus, what did you get me when I was 10? What, you think I don't know? No, I don't think you know. You think I'm lying? Yeah, I think you're lying. It was a Nerf bow and arrow.
Come here, Christmas chase. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, man. You gotta be kidding me. All right, so he wasn't there. What do you want me to say? Okay. Which one of you guys dressed up like Santa Claus? What are you, what are you talking about? One of you guys dressed up like Santa. Who was it? No way! It was your boy. Your boy Santa was here. Guys, I'm serious. I told you! No, this is ridiculous. It was your boy. Your boy was down here. We went up and he went down. Christmas miracle! <laughs> <laughs> Where's he going? Where are you going? We got dinner reservations. I thought we were drinking dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot? We remember old Lang Syne. Remember old Lang Syne, my dear. Remember old Lang Syne. We'll take a cup of kindness yet to remember old.